Hi, I'm Matt from the Atlantic Salmon Trust. I just want to give you a bit of a background of the amount of effort and the amount of person hours that goes into delivering these large tracking projects. We're here over on Struy Hill, looking over the Kyle of Sutherland. Um, in the last few days, we've been deploying receivers, deploying smoke traps to get ready for this. So on Monday night, we drove up from Glasgow, and stayed in the Findhorn area. On Tuesday, we deployed receivers in the Findhorn. Another team of, with my colleague, Han Honkinen, was deploying receivers in, in the Kyle and the Shin. Today we've dis deployed a smoke trap in the Oikel, in the upper Oikel. We've deployed an another number of receivers today throughout the Shin and the Oikel again. Uh, tomorrow we'll finish off a receiver on the Findhorn, which we have to wait for low tide for. And then also three more receivers will be going in the Conan tomorrow before we get finished. It's a huge amount of effort that goes into deploying these receivers to getting these projects underway. But the effort is really necessary. This is a novel project tracking 850 fish across seven different river systems. It's the largest one that we've done yet to take a regional scale approach to what is happening to Atlantic salmon. Follow us on Facebook and on Twitter and on social media um, to keep updates of the project as we're going along. Um, we've soon finished the deployment phase and the next we're moving on to the tagging phase, actually catching the smolts, tagging them and tracking them on their journey.